I thought uh, for the most part, you know, the, the, these games kind of, you know, they make you a little nervous because you're coming off three-game series. you got a big conference series, opening conference, and got the opportunity to play some guys that hadn't played. Um, just felt like it was it was that time for them to play. You know, they've been hanging in there and pulling for their teammates, so just mixed it up a little bit. Obviously concerned about it, but, uh, you know, for the most part, we got some big hits. We got something out of everybody, you know, from Jones getting a big base hit and Robin Ed, a couple of true freshmen in there driving in, I don't know, three runs or so. And obviously Harold Cole had a big night for us with a couple of doubles, home run, four RBIs, made a couple of nice plays in the field. So uh, it's just, it was good, good to win the game, give some of our guys a little bit of a breather and, uh, have a chance to sweep this thing tomorrow. Talked a lot in the first few weeks about two out RBI, two out hits, and, and you had a bunch of them there in that fourth inning where you took the lead. What what were your thoughts on on what your hitters were able to do there? Well, obviously when their pitcher didn't get over and cover the bag right away and uh, Kendall Diggs beat it out, that drove in a big run, and then Wagner got a big hit. Orphan gets a hit, gives us the lead. I mean, it's just – we just kept scoring. And uh, then Reese Robinette got a big hit there with two outs. And it was, uh, you know, felt like, you know, at the time, at the start of that inning, we're down three runs. Obviously, I felt like, you know, we, we did a great job coming back. All of a sudden, we had the lead. We are gonna we had a chance to win the game. So, it starts to maybe change a little bit how you think about how you're going to handle your pitch in the rest of the game. But it was just good to see. Think of your pitching tonight, and then you had Hagen Smith up in the bullpen. Was there any thought to bringing yeah. him in, or was that a bullpen? So you know, I thought Coyle's stuff was pretty good. He just, he just got some hits on him, and the the one walk came back to haunt him. They lead off the inning. Uh, he got, I think he struck out three in the first inning, and gave up two hits, and had a wild pitch, pass ball, whatever you want to call it, and that cost him, cost us a run. And that Carter was really good. You know, Dylan come in and. Got the, the hitter 0 2, supposed to throw a breaking ball in the dirt, left it right there, gets sacked fly. Uh, the runner shouldn't have been at third base because we don't hit the cutoff, man. It kicks off my shortstop and runner advances from second to third. I mean, a lot of little things are starting to add up there. And they scored a run, but he threw the ball extremely well for, you know, the time we left him out there. We didn't want him to pitch too much, we wanted him to be available this weekend. And then Ledbetter threw the ball really well, especially starting out. I mean, he, he he was spotting his fastball both sides of the plate. A pretty good breaking ball going, and uh, you know, kind of settled it down for us a little bit. And I think he got a little bit tired there, you know, in the in the third inning that he was out there. But I also think there were a couple of calls that I thought he should have got, and it could have saved uh, you know some pitches and us a couple runs. But we didn't get it. Um, you know, Cody had a couple of pitches too. Adcock, we felt the same way on the outer half to the right-handers, and uh, so I thought up and down they they all they all threw well and gave us an opportunity to to score some runs and win the game. Five times at the top of the order tonight. Obviously, he's not going to replace Josenberger, but uh, do you do you like that spot for him? Why isn't he? I, I, I just it's not I just obvious. Guess. I don't let right. Do you like? I mean, is it obvious? <laughs> I kind of liked him there. He scored a bunch of runs. No, he uh, he did a great job. He's got a good eye at the plate. Uh, yeah, I love the uh, the O two double to left center. Just stayed through that pitch, and that was after they had scored some runs. And uh, I mean, you look at his line; it's pretty good. Three for three, two walks, scored three runs, drove in a run. Uh, yeah, I mean, I loved what I saw there. But you know, he's been doing a great job hitting behind Jace and. Uh, you know, a lot of times when they see that Jace is hot the way he is, they're going to pitch around a little bit, and Kendall's been getting some big hits for us there. Obviously, a huge day for Harold, and I know he just walked in here, but just yeah. what, what do you make of the way that he was able to perform today? And yeah. you mentioned that some of these guys haven't been getting to play as much and just to respond the way he did. Well, he had a great game. You know, we're we're losing one or nothing. We've got a freshman out there. We've got a bunch of different guys in the lineup, and they're swinging the bats pretty good. And he hit that home run that tied it up. It I think it gave us an opportunity to kind of catch our breath and relax and realize it's just baseball. We we got a lot of we got a lot of at bats ahead of us. And uh, you know, I, I love the at bat against the left hander that 
you know, his numbers, if you looked at his numbers, they were filthy. I mean, it was good stuff. Nobody's hit him. And lefties haven't touched him. And he you know, got behind the count a little bit, took a pitch, fought off a pitch, and then, you know, lefty left it up a little bit and he smoked it down the line. That was that was a big at bat for us. And uh yeah, I mean he had a great game, played really good defense, moved played two different positions, and then that was just a great way to, to end the game. Uh, hard hit ground ball to his left, turned double play, made a perfect throw to the shortstop. Johnny came across the bag, made a great throw to first because that runner could run a little bit. So it was, it was a great day. You have to read the lineup for us tomorrow, but for tomorrow's lineup, is it going to be more starters? Or are you going to still continue to mix guys in there? Just what, how does the the yeah, rotation? Yeah, I, I don't know yet. I mean, we, there'll be you know a couple guys that didn't probably start today. I'll, I'll get back in there. I want want to get them some at bats before um, we we open up this weekend. So you know, we do have some guys that that are resting a little bit. They got some soreness, whether it's hamstrings or shoulders or elbows or backs or whatever you know we just we just it's that time of year you know the the first three four weeks of the season is always just like it's a sprint out of the out of the gate and then guys just it just seems like guys start to get a little banged up and they need a little time so this is this is good when you can take guys that haven't played a whole lot that come in and you know have have a really good night like this against uh you know a team like UNLV for Hudson Polk in a while tonight. Uh, obviously, he got doubled off right after he got the hit, but do you think that, that'll be okay for his confidence? Yeah, I mean, he got doubled off. Uh, you know, the thing was, the, the left fielder couldn't see the ball. We had already told our first baseman in the top half of the inning to really help out, point out, because we call it a high sky, whatever, the ball just disappears. And, uh, you know, you learn about it in minor leagues a lot because you play every day. You start at 6.30, 7 o'clock, and it happens all the time. And uh, that was a tough sky there for a while. And the shortstop, I don't know how he found that ball. I mean, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. And then that thing got about just past the lights coming back down. And all of a sudden, he, he got it, which was shocking. So I don't blame Polk at all on that one because if he's not out there far enough, the ball's going to hit the ground. The guy's going to throw him out at second. So, uh, you know, he's, he's not exactly quick as a cat. So he didn't get back. But it was a great throw by the shortstop. And – uh, yeah, I think that probably helped his confidence a lot, you know, that uh, he hit one hard and second baseman also made a really nice play. I'm glad to see it get through. On Hagen Smith, how close were you to, to bringing him in tonight? I knew you were going to follow up. I tried to avoid that question. Uh, no, he was going to close the game in the ninth. And we'll start tomorrow night pitch-wise? Um, I think we're going to start Ben Bybee. I know we are, unless he doesn't show up to the park or something. So, you know, cold tonight. It's going to be cold this weekend for the Auburn series. Are these games difficult to, to play at all because of the the temperatures? Well, I don't play. I just, I've got foot warmers and hand warmers. Man, I'm good. But uh, I think the players they get used to it. And I always kid them, you know, and say, "Hey, you want to play in the big leagues one day? You want to play in Chicago? You can play in New York? It's going to be cold at the beginning of the season, at the end of the season. So you just got to fight through it. I mean, obviously, we'd rather have 70 and no wind, but. Uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. Tomorrow is going to be a little warmer, breezier. Um, I think there's a little chance of rain and, you know, Friday, it's going to be a lot colder. So we'll just, uh, we'll get through tomorrow. We'll figure it out. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm proud of the guys. They just show up and play. That's what I like about this team. Okay.